what, what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Nobody won the Mega Millions jackpot on Friday. That means Tuesday's jackpot now stands at a whopping $343 million. Man, what would you do? That's what I want to know. That's the question of the day. What would you do if you were to win $343 million? Wow, that's a lot of cash. Now, here's the deal. Those other folks, uh, bad luck may just mean good luck for you because Powerball officials announced that that will be at least $384 million for his drawing on Saturday. That's today. Now, that's because no one won on Wednesday. $384 million. So that's, a to that's over $700 million altogether. Hey, what if one person won both of those things? That's crazy, huh? Now, I know before you put your money up, you like me, you know, you watch your money. Before you put it up, you got to know what the odds are, right? Well, let me tell you what the odds of you winning are. The odds are 1 and 292 million and 2 for the Powerball. Now, if the numbers favor you, Powerball has two winning options. You can either uh, accept the 30 payment annuity for the entire $384 million or a one-time cash out of $239,700,000. Hey, man, have it your way. Either way. For Mega Millions, the annuity is $343 million with a one-time cash payout of $215 million. The odds of Mega Millions if you win in Mega Millions are one and two hundred fifty eight million. Now you say, man, those odds are astronomical. Yes. But if you live in the United States. What is that? Like three hundred million people here and you're one of them. So, hey, man. You know, it's possible. It's possible. A long shot. But it's possible. Now, you know, I don't play the lottery. When it first came out, back in the early 90s, I used to play all the time. Boy, I used to, I used to buy like a couple of hundred tickets. And I'd be like, I'd be all in the barbershop scratching off tickets and stuff, trying to see what's going on. Never could win. You know, I'd spend $100 and win like $4. Spend two hundred dollars, win eight dollars, stuff like that. The most I've ever won playing the lottery is like eight dollars, and I think that was with two tickets. Yeah, man, I, I'm I'm not a good person when it comes to uh, winning money, uh, even finding money. When we was younger, my sister on the way to school would always find money. I got to a point to where I thought she was probably stealing it out of my mama's purse. Cause she find a $50 bill, a $20 bill, a $5 bill. The most I've ever found, I think was like a 20. I think I may have found a $20 bill. But other than that, everything I got, I have to work for. I'm not a lucky person in the sense of having things just delivered to me, given to me. My, everything I have really is earned, not given. So I'm not really good at it, but there are other people that are lucky as hell. There's some people always seem to figure out a way to come up on, on stuff, man. You know, some people just, some people are just lucky. I don't really, I don't, I don't really do the luck thing for myself, cause I all through my life I just had to work. I've had to work for everything that I have, and so I'm cool with it. I'm just not 
lucky in that sense. Uh, in other areas, I say I'm a little lucky, but money, earning money, getting money, I ain't lucky like that. I got to work for mine. But if you're going to play this game, more power to you. And if you by chance happen to win, make sure you consult with a lawyer or uh, some type of financial advisor before you go over there and cash that check, before you do anything. And get them checked out too because there's a bunch of thieves in the financial world. Lawyers and financial advisors and business managers, man, they rip people off every day. So get with somebody you trust. Before you even tell them you got the ticket, you might have to come to them like, you may have to be covert with it. You may have to come to them like, hey, uh, uh, I have a friend who won the lottery. And he needs to talk to somebody about what to do with the winning ticket and how to go about spending the money. Got any ideas? <laughs> oh, here's another thing, y'all. Uh, hey, good luck. Again, good luck. But if you win because you played the lottery based on watching this video, watching me and I pump you up enough to go out there and think that you had a shot to win this lottery and you win, I'm going to need more than a shot out. I would hope you find it in your heart to reach out to me, find me somewhere and give me some of that money. It's only right. Um, and then God going to bless you too. God going to bless you. If you, get, if you bless me, you know, you, it's all about blessing others. You know, bless me, God going to bless you. Other than that, uh, let me know, what would you do with that kind of money? Let me know. If you were to win either one of those jackpots or both, man, what would you do with that kind of money? I'll tell you what I would do. I would continue to do what I'm already doing. See, I use money as a tool for access and to expand my options and to help others. That's what I use money for. It, it, it's, it's not like, I'm not the type of person that I don't need to buy a bunch of flashy things. I've already had all of the flashy things. So I don't need that. I'm good. Like I look at a lot of that stuff like, you know, the, the, the minute you buy a car, right? You buy a brand new car, you know, Many of y'all can attest to this. You buy a brand new car and it's a beautiful thing. And you're riding high and you're feeling good. You feel like you're floating. And then after about two months, you're just hopping in and you're just handing out. It's just a car. And then after about maybe a year, that new car scent kind of like goes away. And now you're looking at, you know, what else I want to buy? Get a big house. You can only, like, be in one room at a time. So after a while, it just becomes things. And that's the way I look at it. You can have all of these things, all of the things in life. And I, and I know it's easier for me to say because I've already had it and, and enjoyed it. And that's beautiful, but I'm telling you, all these material things, these, in, these inanimate objects are just that. They have no life. They have no emotions. Uh, they have no compassion. So it's like, if you have these things and that's all you have, then you're gonna have an empty life. If you're not, if you don't have a connection with people, if you're not using your 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 money, your power, your influence to help others, and and you can't share that success with other people, you, you're gonna have a miserable life. 
I know some of y'all say, man, I don't give a damn, man. Fuck it, I don't love me. I don't care, man. You know what I'm saying? Just give me the money, man. I, I'm good by myself. I... Mm. <laughs> You'll see what I'm talking about if you ever blessed enough to get there. So I would say just leave y'all with that. If you do come up, use the money for good and not evil. Don't be the, the Mandarin thief, Donald Trump. No more talk. What the haters talking about? Yeah.